So Izzy and I are going to show you some stretching exercises, so how to stretch out her hip joints today, um, which is useful for animals struggling with any hind limb issues, so arthritis or uh, conditions like hip dysplasia, just to stretch out their hips nicely because those have a tendency to get quite tight. So you want to start with a nice relaxed patient, so usually Izzy doesn't have any problems in that department, um, lying on a, a padded surface in lateral recumbency, which just means flat on their side. So that's the easiest way to stretch out their hips. Um, I would normally start with, if it was a patient, I was treating um, some nice relaxing strokes just to get their muscles a wee bit less tense um, and get them to allow me to stretch out that joint nicely. So we'll do a couple of these strokes. And then I'm going to ask Izzy to lie down quickly on her side. There we go. That's a good girl. Well done. And what we'll do after that is some passive range of motion on her hip just to ease that joint a wee bit before we, we take it into a stretch. So there's another video showing you exactly how to do passive range of motion. Um, but what we'll do uh, is just the hip joint just now. So ideally at home you would start with toes and then hop, then knee and move up to the hip. Um, but we'll pop a wee bit of a wee hand under her knee joint just to offer a wee bit of support and we'll bring her hip now just into flexion. So bring that leg round and into extension. And we'll do maybe four or five repetitions of that just to loosen up her hip a little bit um, and make sure that that's nice and loose before we take it into a stretch. Good girl. There we are. All right. So now we're going to take her hip into a stretch. So again, I've got her a hand supporting underneath her hock joint. And I'm going to put a wee bit of pressure um, through her limb onto her femur in the middle of that bone there that lies between her hip and her knee. So just mid-centre there, I'm going to pop a wee bit of pressure through the front. And just to, until I meet resistance there. But this time I'm just going to push a little bit further, very gently, and I'm going to hold that there for at least 10 seconds. Um, to make sure she gets a nice stretch through that limb. That looks good. And we'll just do a second one. So you'd normally do three on each side just to get a nice stretch there. And at the same time, just monitor the patient, just checking she's not looking distressed or painful. She's not panting. She's quite comfortable with that. Good stuff. And then one last stretch. Excellent, and you would then repeat that on the other side.